In this video, I want to explain what an L system is. Well, L system is a rewriting system, meaning that we can take an initial string called an axiom and rewrite it according to some previously established rules. So we can see at the top of this picture, we have an axiom, which is nothing more than a starting sentence, and we have some rules. And those rules are used to rewrite this first sentence to create a new sentence. Basically, in this case, we only create a new word. And we can see that the first iteration is only A, so the starting sentence, and the seventh iteration, we have created this very long word. So how does it work? The rewriting part means that we analyze our sentence, whatever it is at the given iteration, and we step by every character in our word and from our rules we select the rule that applies if there is a rule for this character we swap this character for the output of our rule that's why we have this a and a in the first iteration gets swapped into a and b so let's maybe walk through this example so let's draw our sentence which is simply a so this is our axiom. And what else do we know that we have some rules? So A will output A and B and B will output A. Now those rules will be very important for our procedural generation because based on those rules we will get different outputs. But let's continue with, with this example. So we have an axiom at zeroth iteration, this is our sentence, and we analyze it. So we see A. Okay, look at the rules. A produces A and B. So in the first iteration, we have swapped our A for A and B. Now this as a word would look like A, and this would be A and B. And now we say that we might want to enter the second iteration, so we would again look at our sentence, our word, and see, okay, we have first character A, which says, uh, our rules say that it swaps for A again, and B. And B is set to swap for an A. So our output string would be A, B, and A. And we can continue down this road by iterating over and over, getting even more even longer words. Now the only question remains, why would we want to use it for a procedural generation? So far we have established that our algorithm is recursive, meaning that we get the output from the last iteration and we process it again to create a new output every time we are creating a longer word. And if we map it into a drawing, and say that some symbols mean that we draw a line forward and other symbols mean turn left or right by an angle. Now, this gives us an opportunity to see one other feature of this algorithm, which is the fractal-like structures. So, fractal structures are structures that are similar to each other. The, the shapes are similar to each other. And we can certainly see this in this picture, where we see that First, recursion creates some kind of a small tree. The second creates a, lot, a bigger tree. And we can go further and further to create this pretty nice looking tree. So we can immediately see a potential for creating procedural trees here or procedural plants. And you can read a lot more on Wikipedia on how this algorithm was developed to describe the growth of cells and later of plants. But this doesn't interest us in this tutorial because we need now to establish how to map this uh, set of characters into a procedural generated town. Now, according to the computational beauty of nature by Gary William Flake from 1999, we can see that the idea is we map our letters or our output word from our L system into some actions that our agent that is drawing the uh, representational 
image will perform. In the table on the left, we can see that F would stand for draw forward, G for just simply going forward, plus and minus for rotating, and square brackets for saving position and reloading the position, and a straight line for mov moving the turtle, in our case is just simply an agent, forward. Now this is interesting part because it says forward by a length computed from the execution depth. So this means that we would choose a length for the line based on the iteration that we are at to create, as you can see on the far right of this image. And we can see that we have description for how to create this. And we have uh, the name Big Age, the starting angle would be 90, and we have the axioms, which is the starting sentence, which should create something like this, and a rule that over a couple of iterations would create us something like this, which very much resembles a town, for example. The only issue that you might see at the first glance is that this is very symmetrical, it will always output something like this, and we will tackle this in the later video, but for now let's focus on how this is created. So let's again walk through this example. So let's write down what we know so far. So we have an angle. We say this is 90 degrees. We have a, an axiom which is starting sentence. And this will be square brackets F finish square brackets two minuses and F. And we have our rules which is straight line and this word and this would be our rule so let's try drawing this axiom our rule states that f is go forward minus and plus is rotate plus is rotate clockwise and minus is rotate anti-clockwise depending on the direction you are facing and uh, square brackets is save and load now save and load what well we need to save position and we need to save rotation so for example let's take the axiom and let's try drawing it we have some starting point and we established that our agent is pointing upwards so to start we save this position we use F, go forward by some distance, then we reload the position, we rotate twice by 90 degrees, which is, we are now pointing downwards, so we draw a line downwards. Okay, doesn't look that bad. Now we would apply the first rule, so let's try writing what it would be. So we would have the first axiom, so the first sentence, and instead of those F's, we would swap for the straight line and all this sentence outputted by our rule. Then we would finish this square bracket and draw two minuses and repeat the process of swapping F for a straight line and the rest of this word. And this would be our output. So now let's take another color and let's see. So this straight line means simply go forward and multiply the vector where we are going by some length that is calculated. But let's not worry about it right now. Let's say that we are moving one step at a time. So we would again start from this starting point and then instead of drawing anything, we would just save it and go up by some length, so let's say we end up again here, we save this point and we rotate to the right, so clockwise, and go straight, but now drawing a line, reload this point, but you can see that we do not rotate, so we need to reload the same rotation, so we are still pointing upwards here. We have reloaded this state of our agent, so now it is pointing upwards, and we save this position, and say okay now rotate to the, to the left and we draw the same line to the left reload the same position and reload again the starting position and this is here still pointing upwards 
Next, we rotate twice to the left, so we end up pointing downwards here. And we go straight downwards. Now we save the position. We rotate to the right, but now we are pointing downwards, so this would be here. So we draw a line here because there is an F here. We reload this position here, pointing still downwards, rotate in the other direction, and again draw the line and go back. And at some point we would end up with drawing this, going upwards, going downwards, then going here, going here. And then we are going, we would end up doing something like this, like this, like this, like this, and repeating it depending on how many iterations do we have, until we finish up with something that resembles roughly the structure of perfect town. I have implemented the algorithm a little bit different, so let me show you how. So in my implementation, we are going to ignore this symbol of straight line, and instead we are going to say that we append the rule to the axiom. So first sentence would still be the same, but the second sentence would be repeated first sentence, and here we are going to implement this. So we are going to append this statement here, and repeat this, again rewrite this f and append to it the rule. So in this implementation, the one thing that will change is that we will get this output from the else system and now we will start drawing. So we are going to start from some point, save the point, go upwards, because we are still starting with an agent pointing upwards, save this point, turn right, because there is a plus, draw this line, reload this point, draw this line, reload this point, reload this point, and then turn. And this changes a little bit uh, the order of drawing. Turn right, draw a line because there is an F, return to this point because there is a, this square bracket, save this point, turn to the left, draw a line, and reload this point. Now one thing I didn't mention is the angle. And you can see that this implementation takes only the difference in this implementation is the angle. Now we are taking 80 degrees instead of 90, and you can see that our implementation shifts a bit the output, and it looks quite different than the previous one that took 90 degrees as the output. So there, are, there is a lot of things that we can tweak to achieve much better results. I know it was a lot of theory, so now let's go to Unity. There are project files in the description of this and every video. You can download them from GitHub. And we are going to start implementing our L system in a recursive manner. So see you in the next video.